Salvete. I'm going to talk a little bit about Latin grammar. Um, so this is to accompany Lingua Latina per se illustrata capitulum primum, first chapter, uh, the Grammatica Latina section, singulares et pluralis. Of course, this is singular and plural. Here's some examples we'll go through. Nilus fluvius magnus est. So notice that they have italicized the us endings. Um, that's to identify those as singular endings. Nilus et renus fluvii magni sunt. Notice they've italicized the um, final long i endings, which are pronounced e, fluvii magni. Uh, that's to note that as the plural ending. Fluvius singularis est, fluvii pluralis est. Singularis us, pluralis e. Exemplum, an example, numerus, singular, numeri, plural. Numerus meaning number, numeri meaning numbers. Unus parvus numerus est. Unus is a small number. Notice that the word for small, parvus, and the word for number, numerus, both have the singular endings. Those are in fact singular masculine endings. i uh, learn more about that later, but those are singular singular masculine second declension endings and they're also nominative some other things we'll learn about them later unus et duo parvi numeri sunt notice that parvi numeri have the italicized long i or e um, noting that's plural one and two small numbers are or as we say in english are small numbers corsica insula magna est Notice that the A's are italicized at the end of insula and magna. Those are also singular endings, this time feminine. Corsica et Sardinia insulae magnae sunt. Notice that the AE is pronounced I, and that is italicized because it is the plural ending for a feminine word like this. To be technically correct, we would say feminine, plural, nominative, first declension, plural. Um, so that would give a full... Um, feeling for that. But for right now, you just need to know that the us is masculine singular, e is masculine plural, a is feminine singular, i, which is spelled a-e, is feminine plural. Insula singularis est. Insulae pluralis est. Singularis a pluralis i. Now, exempla, examples. Litera, literae. So letter, letters. Provincia, provinciae. Province, provinces. A, litera, latina, est. Notice that we have the short A at the end of litera and latina, the singular ending. A et B, literae, latinae, sunt. Our A and B are Latin letters, so notice that the AE is the plural ending. Letters, Latin, is the plural word order that you see in the, in the Latin, but in English, of course, we flip it around and say Latin letters. If you haven't already noticed, Latin likes the adjectives usually after, English likes them before. English is kind of the odd language out. Most languages around the world like adjectives after their nouns, but a few, like English, do put them before. Gallia est provincia romana. So noting the A's again, the short nominative singular or feminine nominative singular. Right now, really all you need to know is that it's a feminine singular, right? Gallia et Hispania provinciae romanae sunt. Notice the A-E pronounced I. Those are the plural endings of the feminine again. Brundisium opidum magnum est. Notice the ums are italicized this sign. Time. These are singular endings. This is called a neuter singular ending. That's all you need to know right now. Later you'll learn second neuter um, is what these are, second declension neuter. And they'll be nominatives, as we said a minute ago. But again, right now you basically need to know um is a neuter singular ending. Brundisium opidum magnum est. Brundisium is a big town. Or as the Latin says it, Brundisium town big is. Brundisium et Sparta opida magna sunt. Brundisium and Sparta are big towns, or as the Latin says, Brundisium and Sparta, towns big are. Notice that the a now is a plural ending. So a, for a feminine word that is 
the a at the end of the word, means singular. But for a neuter word, a, or an a at the end, means plural. So you have to know whether a word is feminine or neuter to be able to distinguish that. If it's um in the singular, you know it's neuter. If it's a ah in the singular, you know it's feminine. Often in vocab lists, as I do in my Quizlet sets, and as you'll see in many Latin dictionaries, there'll be an F for feminine, or an M for masculine, or an N or an NT for neuter, uh, and that will indicate the gender for you. There are other ways of noting, too. You'll note the patterns of, you know, the singular A ending for feminine, the, the UM ending for neuters, some other things, too, but the little F, M, or N will tell you that in an entry. Opidum singularis est, opida pluralis est. Opidum is singular, opida plural is plural. Singularis um, pluralis a. Again, the big thing to worry about here is that the a ending can be plural if it's a neuter word, like opidum, um, but the a ending is going to be singular if it's a feminine word, like insula or prowinkia. Exempla, examples. Vocabulum, word. Vocabula, words. Exemplum, example, exempla, examples. Now, exemplum can also be um, copy, not just example, um, but it can mean a copy of something in Latin. Uh, litera est vocabulum latinum non graecum. Letter, litera, is a Latin word, not a Greek word understood. Now, notice the word order in Latin literally says litera or letter is word Latin, not Greek. So again, notice the way they're putting the adjectives after, but we translate them before in English. Litera is a Latin word, not a Greek word. Litera et numerus non vocabula graeca sed latina sunt. Letter and number are not Greek words, but Latin. And notice here, litera and numerus are singular, but when you put the two of them together, you say litera and numerus, then together the two of them are a plural unit, right? So vocabula, graeca, latina, all of those end with neuter plural endings because vocabula, the word for word in Latin, is neuter. So that's why those all have plural endings. All right, well, that concludes the section on grammar for Capitulum Primum, Chapter 1, for Lingua Latina Per Se Illustrata. Hopefully that made sense and maybe you learned a few new things. Thank you. Gracias. Walete.